Hey guys, here's just a quick video on polynomial operations, including subtracting, adding, and multiplying. So given that a is equal to 3x squared plus 5x minus 6, and b is equal to negative 2x squared minus 6x plus 7, the first thing that we want to do is find a plus b. So a, I'm going to rewrite and substitute in that polynomial. So 3x squared plus 5x minus 6 plus b. And b is equal to negative 2x squared minus 6x plus 7. Generally, we want to use parentheses around anything with more than one term, but since this is an addition problem, it doesn't really matter because in the end, we're just combining like terms. So I'm going to take the 3x squared and then negative 2x squared, combine them, that becomes a positive 1x squared. And I have a 5x and a negative 6x. When I add those two together, it's minus 1x, or just minus x. And then negative 6, and then a positive 7. When I add them together, is a positive 1. So that is our final answer, and it is written in standard form because it goes from highest exponent down to the lowest. Now the next one is 2b plus a. So I'm going to write our 2. b, again, we said we're going to substitute in for negative 2x squared minus 6x plus 7 plus, and then again, a, um, again, it is more than one term, so we could use parentheses, but since it's addition, I'm just going to include that polynomial without the parentheses because I don't have to worry about distributing a negative. So from here, distribute the 2 to everything on the inside. So negative 4x squared minus 12x plus 14. And then I'm going to bring down my polynomial for a. So positive 3x plus 5x minus 6. From here, I just combine like terms. So negative 4x squared and a positive 3x squared, that becomes just x squared. I have a negative 12 and a positive 5, which is negative 7x, and a positive 14 and a negative 6, which is just a positive 8. And then the last one is b minus a. So we're going to take b which is negative 2x squared minus 6x plus 7, subtracting a. And now because we see a subtraction sign, we must include the parentheses around polynomial a. So 3x squared plus 5x minus 6. So from here, we could bring down negative 2x squared the 6x and the 7, and we have to distribute out the negative to everything on the inside. So minus 3x squared minus 5x and then plus 6. From here, we're just going to combine like terms. So negative 2 and a negative 3 is a negative 5x squared. Negative 6, negative 5, negative 11x positive 7, positive 6, plus 13. The next one that we're going to look at is multiplying polynomials. So the first method is double distribute. So I'm going to take the 2x and multiply by x to get 2x squared. We go coefficient to coefficient and then variable to variable. 2x times negative 4, negative 8x. Then since there's no more on the right-hand side, I'm going to go back to the first parenthesis and do 3 times x and then 3 times negative 4. From here, I just combine like terms. So 2x squared, I have negative 8, positive 3, that becomes a negative 5x minus 12. And that's my final answer. So now I'm going to show you the same exact polynomial but using the table method. So I'm going to set up my table, 
I have a binomial, two terms, a 2x and a 3, so I'm going to split that into two rows. I have a 2x, a positive 3. Then for here, the x minus 4, again, another binomial, so I'm going to do that into two columns. From here, I'm going to multiply. 2x times x is 2x squared. x times 3 is a positive 3x. Negative 4 times 2x is a negative 8x, and then negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Everything in green on the inside just becomes combining like terms. So I have a 2x squared, a negative 8x, a positive 3x, and a negative 12. These two are like terms. So 2x squared minus 5x minus 12, just like we got before. And the last type of multiplying I'm just going to use double distribute for, and that's a binomial times a trinomial. So it's the same exact thing. You just have to be a little more organized and neat. So x minus 2 times x squared plus 3x minus 5. So x times x squared is x to the third power because we have to add our exponents when we multiply with like bases x times 3x is a positive 3x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. Now I go back to the negative 2. Negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times 3x, negative 6x, and then negative 2 times negative 5 is a positive 10. From here, we just combine like terms. Always start with the highest exponent down to the lowest because we want it in standard form. So x to the third power, then I have a positive 3x squared and a negative 2x squared, so that becomes positive 1x squared. Then I have negative 5x, negative 6x, minus 12x, and then plus 10. And that is our final answer. All right, good luck.